Hello everyone, my name is Lempit and today we are going to take a look on how to create curb ramps in Civil 3D. I'm going to use my custom sub-assembly, as you can see right here, but you can use any of the basic sub-assemblies that comes with the Civil 3D out of the box. Uh, th things to keep in mind is that the curb has to have an elevation target, otherwise this method is not going to work. I will show you right here in sub-assembly composer, as you can see, I have a curb right here and it has the elevation target. And everything moves with the curb. So yeah, that's the sub-assembly I'm using in this example. So yeah, I have, in this example I have prepared the corridor. As you can see, I have created the profile for it and I have made some uh, polar lines right there to get the thing started. Uh, in this example, we are going to make a transition in two meters. I mean, uh, by that I mean uh, right there, we are going to have a curb with a height of 10 centimeters. In this four meters, it's going to be zero and right there, there's going to be a transition again into the 10 centimeters. So basically we want to get, have this area right here with uh, zero centimeters uh, height. So yeah, let's get uh, started. I have this boil line right here already created, just a basic boil line. And we're going to create a fissure line out of this spoil line. Uh, keep in mind that I have a, already a surface on this carriageway part, so this is the thing to keep in mind. I usually do uh, curb um, lowering and dropping in uh, <coughs> latest phases of the uh, designing the roads, so yeah. Let's get started. Uh, future line, yeah. Uh, are going to create a future line out of the polar line. We can erase the existing entities and we're going to assign elevation to it. From now, we are going to use the street one. The street one is the carriageway uh, top surface. Uh, we are not going to insert the breakpoints, we don't need them, but we are going to use the relative to el surface. So we are going to, to choose the street and Right here, we're going to choose the zero uh, elevation. So yeah, right now we, as you can see, we have a feature line with four points. And simple as that, as, as we now have the feature line, which has the relative surface, we can choose a height from, as you, as I mentioned before, the first point is right here on the left side. We're gonna put 10 centimeters. The next point is going to be zero. The point after that is going to be zero as well. And transition is going to end with the 10 centimeters again. So as simple as that. Just click OK. And right here, in the corridor target, uh, since it's on the left side, I have a curb elevation target, elevation targets, curb elevation, and I'm going to choose the feature line that I just have created a few seconds ago. I'm going to choose it. I'm going to, going to name it by default. Click OK. OK. Go to the building. And as you can see, we have created the curb ramp. Simple as that. Since the feature line uh, is dynamic, then if you change the profile or you have to change something with the carriageway uh, heights and doesn't matter what you're going to do, it's the dynamic, so everything we're going to follow the elevation of the surface of the carriageway. So yeah, simple as that. <laughs> 